Example two, which is where we've got to find the volume of a cone. Now, a cone works exactly the same as, as a pyramid. It's just, it uses the same formula, one third times area times height. And the reason for that is because if we look at this cone, it, it fits in the cylinder a bit like a pyramid fits inside of a square based pyramid. Okay, so once again, it's one, so a cone is really one third the area of a cylinder, sorry, the volume of the cylinder. Okay, so we're going to use the same formula again. Volume equals one third times area times height. And we're going to start by finding the area of the base, which is pi r squared. Okay, pi times, now r is from the middle to the edge, so r is 2, pi times 2 squared, which gives us uh, 12.5. Seven meters squared for the area of the base of the circle. All right, now we can go to our volume formula and go one third times area, which is twelve point five seven times height, which is three, and we we'll work that out. And I'm actually noticing when you do a third times a three, that makes one. So your volume is actually going to be the same as your area except you write it in meters cubed.